what is up my loves welcome back to my channel i'm amari and i'm going to be telling you how to stop living miserably stagnant and just draining and depressing it is 2023 and we have so many things to work on and so many goals and things to reach and accomplish so why are we sitting here depressed lazy tired and all the above when we can be living happily gracefully femininely living our lives we're still young life is lit well, let me tell you what not to do so I want to start with one that may not be as obvious, but it truly became so obvious to me like a couple months ago when like I literally texted my mom about it. Like I was so annoyed. So the first one that I have for you guys is complaining, complaining, complaining. Like I always thought it was a myth that what do you, whatever you say is going to produce in your life. When I was at a point where I was literally complaining about everything, oh my gosh, my life sucks, boo, who, this didn't go right, this didn't go right, I wanted to go this way, but it didn't. Oh my goodness, be quiet. Gosh, I just want to go back and slap myself. Honestly, it was just so annoying. Like, I used to just complain about literally everything. And it was never that serious because I look back now, look at my life. Now, it is, like, way better than that. What I thought, I didn't think I would come get here. But honestly, complaining just genuinely keeps you in a state of just depression and draining. And then, I mean, like, I'd find myself just miserable. Like, if you're just sitting here complaining about everything going wrong, but, but then the bigger picture... Your whole life is literally something somebody wishes they had. I'm confusing my words because this is something I'm really passionate about. I just feel like if you were to get stripped away of everything that you have right now, that's when the real complaining is going to happen. But if you're complaining because, oh, he didn't text me back. Oh, I don't want to do my homework. Oh, I have this. Oh, I have that. Like, you literally have control over so many more things than you think. Oh, he isn't texting me back. Why are you still texting him? Oh, I have so much homework to do. Well, get up and go do it. Obviously, it's not black and white. There are shades of gray. However, in many situations, there's no reason to sit here and complain and just be so negative about everything because honestly, that just gonna, that's just gonna make you even more negative because let's say I'm happy and I'm talking about what I'm grateful for. I'm talking about what I'm excited for. It's low-key impossible in that certain moment to you're truly be drained and depressed. But if you're sitting here talking about everything wrong with you, then you're just gonna be reflecting on everything wrong with you and everything wrong with you is gonna be become a parent. It's gonna be on, this, on your top of your mind. It's gonna be the only thing you're thinking about. So to go along with that, number two is to stop hanging around people who just complain. If you feel like you're very miserable all the time after conversations and you just feel like nothing is going well, you, you kind of relate to them. Oh, they were just talking about their failed relationship. Oh, they were just talking about how much behind they are in school. You're literally going to leave that conversation. You're going to go to the next person and also start complaining. So I just feel like watching your company, if someone is genuinely just complaining, always upset and mad about everything in the world, you should be hanging around them because they're just going to help you to point out everything wrong with your life as well. Because you don't want to sit here and they're complaining about everything going wrong with their lives and you're just sitting here talking about everything going good with your lives because those don't those conversations they don't match they don't connect they don't so i just feel like obviously if you have a friend who's going through something let them vent there's nothing wrong with that that's not what i'm talking about venting is different than complaining venting is talking about a problem in hopes that the person on the other end that that's receiving your vintage that's not even a word can help you and talk to you about it and be there to help you but don't let it be a habit to vent and then just keep just complain all the time all the time all the time because it just keeps you there it's like at the point where you don't even want to figure out a solution for okay you're complaining but what are you gonna do next like imagine oh my gosh imagine having somebody complain like some people who just complain to me all the time i wish i could just say okay what are you gonna do about it but that's not so rude i'm too nice for that but yeah watch who you're hanging around because it can keep you in a miserable spot like i promise you it can so tip number three is staying on social media for way too long. When we stay on social media for way too long, we find a hundred new things to be insecure about when it was never that serious. If you're sitting here scrolling through a girl's pictures or videos on TikTok or Instagram or Snapchat, like you're just constantly seeing people living their life, having so much fun, but you're going through something right now. I just feel like you need to stop, take a step back and deal with your situation instead of just looking at the next person's and just wishing yours was that way. I mean, get off your phone and go pray. Get off your phone and go work on being a better person, journal, talk to someone about it. But scrolling your phone for too much, it's just going to make things a lot worse than you think. Like, get up and go do something about it. It's a little bit different with depression and things like that because it's not, it's not black and white. You can't just get up and say, I'm going to be better today. I'm just talking about on a non-medical or non-diagnosed level. That also means not being like, not, it's, let's say you said guy that you're into, he's not treating you right now. also does not mean keep texting him like social media wise or on your phone keep texting him all day trying to figure out oh why are you being so rude to me why are you this why are you that get up and go on with your life just walk away from the situation let it play out itself because there's you can't control how someone else is feeling like that is another thing if you can't control it do not dwell in it just get up and try something different try a different angle try to move on with it because you don't just sit and dwell in something that you can't change next is being broke can genuinely keep you miserable yes it's a given 
but some of us don't truly see it like I work a, I work a part-time job as many teens do obviously we're not walking around here with money falling out of our pockets like money just can't fit so when I'm spending too much money and I'm overspending and I'm already seeing my account really really low it just keeps me in a very miserable or draining spot because you know if this was to come up or this was to happen you wouldn't even have the funds to cover so i just feel like even i need to learn this like working with like finances whether you believe so or not or notice it or not they genuinely have a huge impact on your mental health and your well-being because when you're broke baby it will show mentally unless unless you're like me and just like walk away from it and go learn how to get your money up but watching your finances and being aware of that can also keep you out of a draining and miserable spot so the fifth one is not getting enough sleep i just feel like when you're tired you're drained and you're miserable it will genuinely show making sure that your schedule making sure th Making sure that your schedule is not too full to where you are not getting enough sleep. Sometimes it's unavoidable. Like I've had late nights, obviously, but making sure that you're getting a decent amount of sleep, turning off your Netflix, turning off this, and getting in the bed so you won't be miserable. So the next one is having a too busy or an organized schedule. Now let me break this down because personally, I be busy from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. However, that does not mean that throughout the day you do not have time for breaks, mental breaks to chill, to relax, and also having enough sleep for the night and the next day. That just means where your schedule is so busy. So that is making sure that you are planning, like you are not seeing yes to too many people. Like there's been times on Sundays, Sundays is my rest day. I really don't want to do anything unless I truly have to. So if somebody invites me somewhere, like I'm more than likely going to say no, unless I've already planned this in advance. Because I find I need a day or two of the week to just chill and relax and not be so worried about responsibilities and things like that. And I just feel like you need that in your schedule, but don't let somebody take over that time. So the last one is allowing unworthy people to have your time. This goes back to number two about over about listening to people complain too much. Do not let those people have too much of your time. Obviously, if you're friends with someone and they're not as positive or whatever, don't just walk out of their life. Obviously, try to encourage them to work on the, work on being more positive. Help them figure out the light in the situation. But don't give your time to too much people who just worried about the bad, the bad, the bad. Because you're going to be worried about the bad, the bad, the bad. You are who you hang out with. I don't care what anybody says. Everybody be like, oh, I'm different than them. This, that, and the other. But you, over time, you will start to become an act of just like people you hang out with. So if they're, you're just hanging with a negative behind crew, guess what? You're going to be a negative behind person. If you hang out with a messy crew, you're going to be messy. You're going to fall into that trap. So let's be careful who we're giving our time to. Don't be scared to be by yourself. Like I genuinely do not care about being by myself if that means I will be peaceful. I refuse to sit with people or try to go be friends with somebody or go mingle with people who I just feel like are just gonna make me draining, tired, and just depressed. So you have control over that type of situation. But that is the end of this video. Obviously, things like this take time to develop. You're not gonna be perfect. I'm not perfect, I fall short. I can be rude sometimes, but I have to work on and watch my tongue and guarding my tongue and being more kind. So just like you, we all have our moments, but I'm talking about don't live in these moments. Don't make it a habit. But thank you so much for watching me and considering my video. I hope you took something meaningful and helpful from this video. I really pray that you apply this to your life and that you see a huge positive difference difference in your life. God bless you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you on the next one. Give me some tips, comments, suggestions for anything else you would like to see or hear about. Like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, there will be more to come.